Let's get ready to rumble! Former junior middleweight Tony Ayala Jr. dies at 52. He was found slumped over inside the Zazamora Street Gym where he had been trained by his father, Senior. He had been trying to reopen the facility. No cause of death was immediately given. He was arrested for rape in 1983. He was on the verge of big title fights, big fights against the likes of Roberto Duran, is who they were speaking about. He was convicted and served 16 years before being released. He had violated his parole and was sent back in 2004. Served another 10 years. His three brothers boxed as well, Mike, Sammy and Paulie. Apart from Tony, Paulie would have been the most successful out of all the brothers. And including Tony, to be honest. Um, he was a world champion. Defeating the likes of Johnny Tapia. Twice. Lost to Eric Morales. Lost to Barrera. But it's not about him, really. Yeah, um, for those who don't know, Tony campaigned in the mid to late 80s. And, you know, he had a lot of rage. He had a lot of rage. Certain things happened to him as a kid that shouldn't have happened. And um, we see him spit at one of his opponents, Balthazar, after defeating him, after flooring him. He spat at Balthazar, you know. And it was either Steve Gregory or Robbie Epps where the referee stepped in and he was still trying to get a Robbie Epps. He just wanted to carry on fighting. He just wanted to carry on fighting. There was a lot of obvious rage. Now, you know, um, he is a cult-like figure from the 80s, you know. Old school, always wonder what could have been. What could have been. Some people say he would have beat Duran. Some say, no, he was just a crew brawler who would have got dismantled. Who knows? He was undefeated at the time and mostly everything was chaos. It was chaos. The rapes and the assaults, by all accounts, were not anything resembling civilized by all accounts, you know. So, um, let's not do the... Uh, yeah, um, I think the best way to play it, you know, is not to, um, for me anyway, is to remember he was a vicious contender, what he did in the ring. But outside, yeah, yeah. what can you say? What can you say? I say rest in peace and let's hope he can find some. Let's hope he can find some peace outside of this dimension here. Let's hope he can.